Shalom. All praises unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahshua by Hashem, Kodash. That's the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, through the Holy Spirit. I double honor to the apostles and the elders at the great millstone, who rule well and guide us and lead us uh, along this, this straight gate <clears throat> in these last days and keep us fed spiritually. And green salutations and blessings to all the Akim and Akwaf and their families, man, in, the, in these trying times that believe in the spirit of Yahweh Hashem and uh, through their faith and show their works uh, through their faith. Shalom unto you. Um, quick video, Lord willing. Um, so I was given uh, a heads up, and it's just kind of a weird day to day that uh, in California there was a 4.9 earthquake. Okay, in Southern California, and I've probably been contacted by at least two or three different people uh, in my life talking about these uh, chaotic dreams that they've been having. Okay, to 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 speak it lightly, um, and actually, um, my woman had just told me about this one because we were in the grocery store <laughs> that uh that she that she felt like something was weird going on in the earth. Okay, like she could see chaos and people running and shaking real bad. And I'm like, you know, damn, that was was that a dream or something? She's like, nah, she just kind of had a vision in the middle of the store. About, you know, six something, almost seven o'clock. Well, I just got this from another friend that was telling me they had a dream uh, the other day. That this earthquake hit today in Southern California which it says 4.9 quake rattles Southern California, an earthquake with a preliminary magnitude of 4.9. That's, that's, that's nice size. You can feel that. Has rattled much of inland Southern California, but no damage or injuries reported. And something that has been coming upon me uh, before I got the message was, there's earthquakes still coming, large earthquakes still coming, okay? A lot of chaos is still coming to the earth, Okay? And our people are starting to, and not just our people, those even, you know, that are starting to get this spirit poured upon them uh, to see these dreams. Okay, so let me let me hit a couple of scriptures uh, straight to the point um, about what they what, what these these people are seeing in these dreams. Okay, this is Acts chapter two. I'm we'll start with verse 16. It says, but this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith the Most High, Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And so people will come to me telling me, hey, I can see how this is how this can end. Man, this I just saw something real chaotic. A possibility of something really chaotic happening. Man, I had a dream last night, man, and it was People were running around, killing each other, fight for food. I seen, I seen in the vision people were getting their 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 uh, grocery carts snatched and stolen. And I'm like, damn, this is all the the end time scenarios that we see. That I've even had dreams in past years, in past times about, you know. And they're filling these dreams, okay. It says, and I and on my servants and my handmaids will I pour out in those days my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show wonders in heaven above, chariot sightings all the time, blood moons, all of these different things that are happening in earth. Okay, as prophecy, letting us know that these are the end times. Okay, so, and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. All right, all these things are happening. And the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and notable day of the Lord. And that great and notable day of the Lord is when... Man, it's when it's really going to go down. Look what it says in 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, shall be saved. And it's not just about you calling on the name. Okay, because not everyone that calls on it, but those that will be saved will be calling on that name. That doesn't mean everybody that calls on it will be saved. I'm going to repeat it. Doesn't mean everybody that calls on it will be repeated. It just means that those that will that will be saved will have called on the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And then there will be the heathen, you know, that will go through whatever trials and tribulations they go through uh, before they go into, into uh, captivity. All right. 
another scripture, uh, a few of them, I just on the fly. Um, let's go to Matthew right quick. <clears throat> 24th chapter will do. Uh, we'll start up around 7. It says, um, uh, I'll start at verse 6. It says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation. We're still hearing about talks of World War III with, with Russia, China, and different, and Iran, and so on and so forth, okay? And kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences. We know about how the famine is really killing it because people can't go out and make all these consuming purchases that they've been doing. So businesses are losing billions of dollars, millions and billions of dollars. Okay, online sales may be up, but losing lots of money in this economy, okay, and all over the world's economy. Um, and we know that this pestilence is going on. Okay, COVID-19, coronavirus pestilence. Okay, we know that, and it says, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Okay? Yeah. It says, uh, and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Okay? Salaki on that, but that's what that says. Let me go to go to a prophetic book at the end. Go such as, no, we want 15. Matter of fact, we're going to go straight to the. No, that's, that's a good chapter. We're going to go to the second edge of the ninth chapter. Um, yeah, second edge is nine and one. And he, he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, and we see those signs passing. We see the pestilences. We see the earthquakes. We see the dreams that the people are having. We're seeing the signs in heavens, blood moons, chariots in the sky, uh, eclipses and things of that nature. Okay, it says, wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Okay, let me start again at the top. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest parts of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and there are earthquakes all over the world going on. You know? People having visions of earthquakes today and having dreams of earthquake this week and being on their spirit to speak about uh, earthquakes and, and whatnot. Not just the pestilences themselves, okay? Other events that are still coming to pass, okay? You can read more about that, okay? Google it, it's right there. It says, um, yep, then shall thou well understand that the Most High, Yahweh, spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning, okay? And so these are the days of the last days, man. These are the prophecies that are going on. And in these last days, as we read, people are beginning to see visions and have dreams, Okay? And it's the job of us prophets or those that, that, are, that are called to be prophets to break these prophecies down that these people are having, okay? To break down the events, current events that's going down uh, in, in this current, in this time uh, through prophecies, okay? Letting, that you pe letting you people know that you have been thoroughly warned about the day of the Lord, which is coming upon us at a swift and alarming rate. Okay, and in that time, the devil's going to have great wrath coming down. He's just cutting jobs and the economy's cutting. he got to make business decisions. Okay, and people just expect the American government or, or, or whoever just to bail out everybody all the time. That's not how this works. Okay, money's got to come from somewhere. Just printing money doesn't answer the problem. It further eradicates, uh, uh, you know, the situation. It further makes the situation that much more worse. I can't remember it wrong, but anyway... Yeah, okay. So just just wanted to kind of put that out there. And there's plenty more scriptures that you can go into, especially in second address. I mean, it's all over the place. There's chariots and missiles and all kinds of stuff in these scriptures, man. You know, it's just all, all of this stuff going on, man. Okay, I'll read this one in second address 15 and one and two. 
It says, uh, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. And you might as well etch these in stone, okay, because they're, they're going down and they're happening, okay? All right? Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee, which speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. And we're watching the people about to go down with deaths. Okay? People about to go down with deaths. And these are some of the dreams that the people that, that have been contacting me. Like, hey, you see what's going on? You see what's happening? You know, and I expect more calls. I told a lot of family members and close family friends. And some of them are calling now. You know, like, hey... <laughs> You see what's going on? Yeah, you know I'm seeing it. How long I've been telling you about this? Yeah, I see it's happening, man. And I don't know. Oh, okay, yeah, you keep you continue not knowing and see how far this gets you, okay? Anyway, for all the faithful will shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, saith the Lord Yahweh by Shimei Shai, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. You people aren't ready for what's coming. This is still light work. Being scared of uh, COVID-19. Wait till you bum rush these stores and there's people that, that, that can't get what they need. I'm watching these grocery stores. I talked to a lady that worked at the grocery store just today. And she literally told me, like, this department is getting shut down. The bulk items, that's getting shut down in your favorite stores. Certain, certain uh, items in the store aren't being re replenished. A lot of meat not being replenished. Because you people love your meat, okay? A lot of different things that are happening in the earth are not are, 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 are all proof that these are the end times. There's people having dreams about these end times. They're actually happening. And some of you still want to play and turn the blind eye like it's not really going down. Last script, just to tie it all together. No clue what I'm going to name this. I, well, you know, maybe it'll be Joel too. People shall dream dreams or something to that effect, but... Let me go to this right quick. Um, Romans chapter 3, I'm going to start up at verse 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, without effect? Yahweh forbid. Let the Most High God, Yahweh, be true, and every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and might us overcome when thou art judged, that we have thoroughly spiritually prepared ourselves for the day of the Lord, as we saw it coming upon us years ago and all the way into the end. Lord willing, we endure all the way to the end. Okay? But this is that time that you should have been uh, getting yourself into this thing and getting yourself spiritually prepared for the, for the devastation that's coming. And you people are starting to understand it because just because these are the people that are that I'm I'm tied to are speaking it to me, I know there's out there there are people out there telling you, and you're telling them that they're crazy for telling you that. So it doesn't matter if you don't believe that these things are gonna happen, that the world's not gonna bounce back to what it once was, okay, that America will be destroyed, okay, that there will be martial law all over this country as well, people dying left and right. These things are coming, and what are you gonna do? <clears throat> when these things are coming true and these people have been telling you in their dreams and in their visions and the prophets have been all over the world telling you as well where, where the most high God has been pouring his spirit out upon us okay and we have we have been warning you and there's more and more signs going on okay so anyway I'm going to close out with that giving all praise and glories unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai by Hashem Yahushai Lord willing this was edifying Double honors to the apostles and the elders at the great millstone who rule well. And greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the elect. Shalom unto you.